Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath to you. Happy Sabbath to our mommies and daddies and everyone who's watching us this morning. I'm Auntie Betty, and we thank you for joining us, and we welcome you to Children's Story Time right here at the College Hill Seventh-day Adventist Church located at 1837 Brandall Street, Knoxville, Tennessee. Pastor Bryant Stewart is our senior pastor. The title of our story for today is Secrets. There are a lot of things we know about God. He knows everything about us. I know that doesn't really sound like a secret, but a lot of our lives are spent in the quietness of our heart where no one knows what's going on in our hearts except for you and God. And it's in that quietness that he wants to establish a special connection with you. As a matter of fact, boys and girls, do you know that God loves secrets? He loves a good secret. You may say, really? Yes, he really does. Let's listen to our Bible verses today and see if we can find out what those three secrets are that Jesus said God wants us to do as a secret. Taken from Matthew chapter 6. So that your alms may be done secretly, and your Father who sees in secret shall himself reward you openly. But as for you, when you pray, enter into your inner chamber, lock your door, and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret shall himself reward you openly. So that it may not appear to men that you are fasting, but to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. Thank you. Now that sounds like a lot of secrets, you might say. God wants us to give in secret. He wants us to pray in secret. He wants us to fast in secret. Wow. You might ask the question, but why? And that would be a good question, boys and girls. You may also ask the question, what is fasting? Fasting is when we skip a meal or skip several meals so that we can focus on God. Now, back to the first question. Why does God want us to do these things in secret? It's like that special connection we have where with God, where we, want, where we may give money in church or give money to help someone in need. God doesn't want us boasting or bragging about that and drawing attention to ourselves. And when we pray, that's a special conversation we have with God, and he wants us to be able to keep that connection and pray to him. Now, it's okay to pray in church. It's okay to pray in groups. And it's okay to give money while you're in church. But when it comes to having that special conversation with God, he wants us to keep that just between the two of you so that no one can complain. You don't have to worry about anyone bothering you about what you share in your heart with God, because that's between you and God. And our scripture tells us that when we do these things in secret, God will reward us openly. And God knows everything about us. Let me demonstrate this, boys and girls with an object lesson called, Can You Keep a Secret? What we need is one piece of cardstock paper, a bowl of water, let's put this over here, a white crayon, and a paintbrush. 
Now, with this white crayon, I'm going to draw a heart on the paper. And in the middle of the heart, I'm going to draw a cross because the cross shows that we have Jesus in our hearts. Can you see that, boys and girls? No, you can't because I'm drawing it in secret. But guess what? God can see this. And I'm going to write inside this heart, give. Pray, and fast. Can you see that? You still can't see it, can you? Let's do this. We're going to take some paint. And it's gonna take me a few minutes here, but give me a minute or two. And we're going to, we're going to color this paper and see what we, if we can reveal anything. And remember, God sees everything. So he already knows what this is going to look like, but you don't know, not yet. God sees everything. It's like if you had a diary, boys and girls, or a personal journal, you wouldn't want anyone to read it now, would you? No, you wouldn't. And that's how God feels. And when we are fasting, God loves for us to fast because it shows that we, how much we appreciate God and that he provides for us. And that's why he asked that we do it in secret. And that's why when we do things in secret that God asks us to do, he will reward us openly. Now, boys and girls, because you're out in TV land, you may not be able to see this, but it says, Give, pray, and fast. Now, if you do this at home, boys and girls, with your watercolor and your white chalk and your cardstock paper, you can see it at home for yourselves. But guess what? God sees everything. He sees everything that we do. And as we said, if we keep the three secrets that God has asked us to do, give in secret, pray in secret, fast in secret, God will award us openly. And guess what? You may wonder, well, how can we do these things? We can do it by reading our Bibles and praying every day, boys and girls, so that we can be like Jesus. It might not be easy, but try it every day, and we can be just like Jesus. Join with me, boys and girls, as we sing the song. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where down in my heart, where down in my heart, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where down in my heart? Where down in my heart? I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where down in my heart to stay? And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. 
Where down in my heart, where down in my heart, I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart, where down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. May we pray, boys and girls. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful day that we are having on this blessed Sabbath day. We thank you for the special connection you allow us to have with you. And we ask that you will help us to always strive to be like Jesus. Help us to pray, give, and fast when we need to. Help us to pray every day so that we can grow to be like Jesus. We thank you for loving us. And we thank you for hearing and listening to our prayers. And that the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. Give yourselves a hand for joining us today. And we hope that you will join us again sometime for story time with Auntie Betty. Until we meet again, boys and girls, we pray that God will keep you safe. And we pray that you will stay uplifted in him. Thank you. See you, boys and girls.